Labs to your research. Notwithstanding great challenges, and you've made a great difference to the world. Thank you for your years of hard work and progress. Every day I think of you, and I am inspired. At the same time, I would like to say how truly sorry I am that society has attacked you for the last three decades. The treatment of Fleischmann and Bonds and the treatment of many of you by mainstream institutions in the media will go down in history as one more example of scientific infanticide, where entrenched interests kill off their divergent project. This seems to be a dark component of human nature. I note the irony that we are in Padova, Galileo City. But notwithstanding this long suffering, you remain faithful to your work. Thank you for your intense focus and contributions. In the face of challenges, we must carry on with good faith, good will, good intentions, and honesty, driven by the better angels of our nature, not impaired or constrained by the behavior of others. We also need not be constrained by our own minds. Ironically, the expert who claimed that flight had achieved its limits in 1921 was Orville Wright, the inventor of the airplane. And the expert who declared that fission was not likely, that of course was Einstein. We must be ever vigilant to keep our own minds open always. Your time has come, the frenzy of fear gripping China and India regarding air pollution and also modern land pollution have created enormous demand for new ideas, less constrained by the past. Second, the increasing reports of success by many of you continue to offset the presumptions of skeptics. But it does not benefit any of us, nor does it benefit society. If we achieve success, we lose our values. Let's encourage one another to put the needs of society and the needs of others first, as we contemplate how to achieve the victory. We have the ability, you have the ability, 